one, it's no Ortega as you know, and this time we're gonna stop by for some seafood at Flatfish El Marin Seafood Shack. It is in the outlets of San Clemente in South Orange County. And this time I decided to come with my friends, Peter, Sean, and Ashton. So before we head in though, make sure to press that like and subscribe button and press the notification bell to stay updated if you like this type of content. So let's get started guys. Slapfish has been opened at the outlet since the outlets first opened. So that says something. In addition, they are actually the only restaurant in the outlets to serve alcohol. So they are a great stop if you want to drink beer. In addition, the owner said he had one goal, and that is to make Americans eat more seafood. Because simply there's not enough seafood places, especially here in San Clemente. So this is a great stop for you if you want seafood. Good. How was the meal? It was pretty damn good. Uh, I get the lobster taquitos whenever I go to Slapfish, a modern seafood restaurant. And I'd say it's probably the best thing you can get at this place. Probably the best thing you can get in the outlets of San Clemente for your dollar. The casing on it is very scrumptious, but at the same time, it does melt in your mouth. It's like perfectly encasing. It doesn't fall apart or anything. And the lobster itself, I wish there was a little bit more in it, to be honest. But uh, for what it is, I haven't had very many lobster dishes. It's pretty good, probably one of the better I've had at all. And the sauce, which is labeled as awesome sauce, is just that very awesome. And uh, I really, really like the garnish and all the, um, the setup and the general look of the dish. It's just really pretty and really good. And my only critique besides there not being too much lobster is there's not four, five, six of them. There's only two when you order it. The burrito was really good. The shrimp was well cooked. All the ingredients in the burrito were really good. Something I appreciate was that when I left it the burrito, it didn't immediately fall apart like a bunch of places. However though, the Chips on the side were a little disappointed because they weren't seasoned. They didn't have a lot of flavor. But my overall thoughts on the burrito though is I recommend it to everybody that loves shrimp and burritos. Because honestly, those ingredients and that flavor, when you take that first bite, immediately grab you and hook you up. I got the fish and chips. They're pretty good. Decided to play it safe and get two instead of one when offered. You know, didn't think they'd be you know, too big, but about that big each, so naturally I had to share with everyone. First bite in there is pretty good. You can really taste all the oil, the fat, all the goodness in there. It melts in your mouth, light and crispy, crunchy too, it's important. I felt a bit guilty eating it, but it's all right. Just don't do it too often, don't worry about it. Peter, what'd you think? Uh, the fish and chips were pretty good. Um, I really like the beer batter on it. I love beer batter on any uh, fish breaded product. Uh, there was a lot, um, so I wasn't able to eat too much of it. I don't think Sean was either, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. And I think the only problem was that there were some parts where it was just batter and just beerness, and it was kind of a little bit unappetizing, but the fish itself was so good, so warm, and very, very good flavor to it. I agree with everything that Sean and Peter said. In addition though, the fries were well seasoned and the tar sauce was really good. So these guys were gracious enough to let me have a bite of everything off their plates. And I loved everything I had. I had literally zero complaints. I, I think it all tasted great. It was cooked well. The sauces complemented everything well. Uh, yeah, I have really no complaints. So Peter, where are your overall thoughts in this place? It's pretty, pretty good. I really, really like this place. Um, it is the only restaurant in the outlets that I can come back to every time and not be disappointed. Also, the only place I know of that serves alcohol. I used to work in a restaurant in the outlets, and whenever people would ask, hey, do you guys serve beer? Do you guys serve um, IPAs or whatever? We'd always be like, go over there, go over to Slapin. Overall thoughts are uh, very nice presentation. Really clean, really neat. Gives you the vibe that you're in a harbor or something, or like down in the kitchen area of a ship. 
I personally think that this place looks great. I love the wood aesthetic on the walls that they have going on. It contrasts really well with the blue roof. I like how the tables also share a wood aesthetic. And it kind of gives the whole place kind of a, you know, an industrial kind of feeling to it. Well, it feels like you're at the, the harbor or something. It's pretty neat. I like it a lot. My overall thoughts is it's really good. I love the presentation, just like how Sean, Peter, and Ashton said. I love alone just how the menu itself is different. That's good presentation and effort there. And I really loved the food, specifically that shrimp. And the fish and chips, the lobster, they were all really, really good. However, though, my only complaint was those chips. But that's all I gotta complain about. I really love this place and I really recommend it to everyone if you love fish. Well, that was our overall thoughts, guys, on Slap Fish in South Orange County, San Clemente. And as you know it, guys, make sure to press the like button, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment below where we should eat next, and make sure to press the notification bell to stay updated if you like this content. So, hey, guys. This, this is, is where the boys, boys ate! ate.